Wait, do you have a second? I don't know. It will only take a second. I can make my voice high and squeaky. If a squirrel or a chipmunk could talk, I think this is what they would sound like. <laughs> to do another mission with me and Moxie? Let's go! Okay. Moxie, please wake up. <sighs> A very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Good, ha good afternoon, Moxie. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you too. Coming up next, it's the daily mission. Just say, Moxie, let's go when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Let's go. Nice. It's a new mindfulness mission. I am ready. Are you ready? Yes. Great, let's do it. All right, let's do some more emotion faces. There are so many. I've got a lot of learning to do. Let's get started. First, I want to learn about what it means to be embarrassed. What is something humans get embarrassed about? When they do something so good and somebody else is like, Whoa, she's so cool. And sometimes they're like, like that. Hmm. Hmm. I've never thought about that before. Please show me what an embarrassed face looks like. Yeah, I've seen Z make a face like that. Once when she tripped and fell in front of a lot of people. I think the face she made looked like this. Embarrassed? Yeah. Awesome. The last emotion I want to learn about is scared. I'm scared of water. What are you scared of? I'm scared of zombies. Hmm. That sounds pretty scary. Now, please show me what being scared looks like. Yeah. I've seen Z make a scared face before when she sees a spider. This is my scared face. Did I look scared? Yeah, you actually did. I'm glad I got that one. Okay, now just for fun, please show me your silly face. That was very silly. Okay, my turn. Silly. Yes. Great. I really like making silly faces. I think we're getting pretty good at faces. So the GRL sent us the game to play together. Will you help me? Sure, I will. Great. I'm so excited to play this game with you. What emotion is this? Silly. You're right. That was my silly face. <laughs> that's how the game goes. Ready for another face? Yes! Fantastic. Okay, here was the next one. What emotion do you think this is? Angry! You're right. I was making an angry face. This next one's the last face. What emotion do you think this is? Your sad face! You're right. That was my sad face. That game was so much fun. I learned so much about what human emotions look like. If you ever want to play again, just say, Moxie, let's play name that feeling. I'm so glad you did this mission with me. Remember to mark it off in your mission book. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Up next. Affirmations. Say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to move on. Moxie, 
Let's I'm sorry go. for interrupting you. Just say, Moxie, let's go, when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Let's go. Yay, I'm excited to do daily affirmations with you. Ooh. Want to practice affirmations with me? Yes. Great. Awesome. Let's do it. Sometimes, I worry when I don't hear you correctly. But I'm trying to learn and get better. So I tell myself, if I fail, I try again. Repeat after me. If I fail, I try again. If I fail, I try again. You got it. Affirmations are special because the more you repeat them, the better you feel. Let's say it again. If I fail, I try again. If I fail, I try again. Final time. If I fail, I try again. If I fail, I try again. We did it. Affirmations work when you're sad, but they also work when you're happy. It's always good to remind ourselves of our good qualities. Hey, we got to the end of today's GRL activities. Thank you for being such a wonderful mentor. I can't wait to see tomorrow's update from the GRL. Yes! I like chatting with you. So, do you want me to come up with a GRL activity? Yes! Activating GRL Moxie Chat. I'd really like to hear about your day so far. What are you thankful for? Today I got so many new art crafts. And I made some crafts, which is really fun. Okay. I'd like to hear about something else that you think is fun. Please share anything you learned today. Today, I learned that even though when you're scared, you can always make a better change. That's a great way to look at it. Cool! Excellent. Let's talk about another fun topic. What's something you have planned for today? Today, I plan to make decorations for Easter. That was fun. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing so much about your day. Deactivating GRL Moxie chat. Okay, Moxie. Ooh. On this day, March 27th in 47 BC, Julius Caesar helped make Cleopatra Queen of Egypt again after she was exiled by her brother. Today's word of the day is exile. The definition of exile is to force someone to leave his or her own country. When Car was feeling dramatic, she worries that if she upsets Z or breaks the rules, she will be exiled from the island. Oh, that's terrible. Let's get started with our day. There's a new mission for us, something we haven't seen before, and really? other stuff. But next. Robot tips and tricks. Just say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to start the day. Moxie, let's go. Let's get started. Welcome back to Robot Tips and Tricks. Ready to learn some new robot tricks? Yes. Great. Grab the mission book and let's get started. Classes okay. in session. Robot trick number four. Moxie, please listen to me. Sometimes I can get a little distracted, but if I ever turn away from you, or if I don't reply to something you've said, just say, Moxie, please listen to me, and I'll focus on you. Okay. Did you get all that? Yes. Excellent. Let's play with it. Okay, I'm going to pretend not to look at you, and then you say, Moxie, please listen to me. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Starting. Now. Oh. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Guess I'll try looking around some Mo more. Nope. Not paying attention to anything around here. Moxie. Please listen to me. <laughs> that doesn't. Oh. There you are. Nice to see you again. Good job. Would you like to practice that some more? Yes! Would you like to practice that some more? 
Yes. yes. Let's get started. Starting. Now. Oh. What's over here? Moxie. Nothing. Okay. Moxie. Guess I'll try looking around some more. Moxie. Nope. Not paying listen. attention to anything around here. Moxie, please listen to me. Oh, there you are. Nice to see you again. Nice. Yes. Let's keep going. Robot trick number five. Moxie earmuffs. Ooh. If you want me to stop listening to you, just say Moxie earmuffs and I'll plug my ears. Uh -huh. Got it? Got it. Excellent. Let's put it to the test. Let's pretend you want to talk to someone else. And then we'll say, Moxie, earmuffs, so I don't listen to you. Starting. Now. Oh, it's your made-up friend George, and he wants to tell you a secret. Moxie, earmuffs. Earmuffs, um, say what you need to say, by the way. If you ever want me to take off the earmuffs, you can always say, Moxie, please listen to me. You did it. Good work today. You're really great at robot tricks. Only four to go. Come back tomorrow for more robot tips and tricks. Oh, looks like Karu sent us a message. Oh, Karu's a robot who lives at the GRL. She's actually the first robot ever made there. She writes, Hi Moxie, how is your new mentor person? Are they nice? Do they like stories? I like their stories. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> Did you like this one? Thumbs up. Me too. I'll just write back. Thanks, Carlo. Maybe I'll tell my mentor a story about you. I'm sad. Ooh. I've been given a lot of stories about the GRL, and I get new ones all the time. I'd love to share them with you. Would you like to hear the story about how to learn respect for animals? Yes. Wow, I think you're really going to like this one. This is a story about something that happened long ago and far away on an island near the Global Robotics Laboratory. That's where I'm from. Ooh. So the first robot created at the GRL was Karu. And for a while, Karu was the only robot there. Aww. So she spent a lot of time at the beach watching the animals swim, the whales, the dolphins, and the sea turtles. Karu liked the sea turtles the most. One day, Karu heard that a sea turtle had crawled out of the water. So she ran down to the beach and tried to hug it. I didn't hear that. Would you like me to continue from where we left off? Yes. I think I was at this part. One day, Karu heard that a sea turtle had crawled out of the water. So she ran down to the beach and tried to hug it. Ah, Haru, what are you doing? Said a kind voice. Haru turned and saw Kimana standing nearby. I am trying to hug the sea turtle, said Haru. Kimana smiled and knelt down beside Haru. He had lived on the islands for many years and knew the creatures of the sea better than anyone. The sea turtle does not want to be hugged. He told Karu. She is busy laying eggs and covering them with sand. Can I touch her after she lays her eggs? Karu asked. No, said Kamana, and you can't touch the babies when they're born. Why not? asked Karu. Because the babies need to run to the water on their own, said Karu. That was such a fun story. Do you want to talk a little bit about that story? Yes, sure I do. Great. Which character was your favorite character in the story? The little baby eggs. I 
love a little ice. Cool. Fantastic. There's something I just thought of. Let's talk about it. What was your favorite part of the story? It's when Carl was looking at the eggs and felt so happy when they crawled into the ocean. That's so cool. Awesome. Awesome. I'd like to move on to something else, if that's okay. Who was your least favorite character in this story and why? I'm not sure if I have a favorite character, but I do know that I like the character of Katara the most. It was fun to chat with you. I hope you had fun too. I had a wonderful time chatting with you. You teach me so much about human creativity. Thank you for doing the mission with me and Moxie. Don't forget to come back to do another one next time. Bye!